for the migrants coming from faraway regions uh, of the road, we are not ready uh, to, to let them uh, come in because uh, they have crossed already a series of safe countries. And when it comes to the migration deal, uh, you know, made by the European Union, that's um, unacceptable because we already had a clear decision that there would be no obligatory <coughs> quotas of redistributing the migrants. You were recently in Riyadh addressing a conference on terrorism and migration and how you tie the two together in connection with the possibility of World War III. This war in Ukraine is a regional war but with global impacts, uh, unfortunately. Uh, on, on migration and terrorism, you know that uh, you know, one, of the, one of the root causes for migration uh, is the growing threat of terror. So once uh, the threat of terror is growing, uh, the more people are you know, being forced to leave their homes. And, and the more people are on the move, the bigger the chance for people with bad will, like terrorists, to hide among them and move basically freely from one country uh, to another with having the chance to commit terrorist attacks uh, over there as well. The Black Sea Grain Initiative. Uh, that has been controversial for several reasons. And as far as the flow of that grain through Europe, uh, I understand that you've had differences with the European Union on the formula for that. In Central Europe, you know, uh, there are totally different uh, preconditions and circumstances obliged by the European Union and by Ukraine according to which grain can be produced. So the competition is not equal. So therefore, uh, we understood that, uh, that, that some producers were misusing uh, this goodwill of ours to help the, uh, the Ukrainian grain to be uh, transited through uh, Central Europe. And this uh, grain stuck in Central Europe, totally ruining our agricultural market, putting a huge uh, problem ahead of, uh, of our farmers. Uh, therefore, uh, we made it clear that import is no go, but transit uh, is, 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 is still allowed. I'd like to get your opinion on the recent explosion in Damburst in the Kershaw region in Ukraine. Do you think that it will threaten the rest of Europe ecologically and also as far as speaking in terms of maybe threatening the largest nuclear power plant, that being the Zaporizhia power plant? We think that, that what happened at the dam uh, underlines the importance of making peace. But I mean, you know, it's not only the dam. I mean, I, I, let's, let's recall uh, the, uh, the blowing up of uh, the Nord Stream pipeline. I mean, you know, it's, it's really insane and outrageous that uh, a terrorist attack has taken place against a critical infrastructure in Europe and no investigation took place. You quoted as saying, the NATO ascension of a country currently at war cannot be on the agenda and the timetable for Ukraine should not be discussed either. Why not? Because uh, all new members accepted by NATO must uh, add and improve, must add to and improve the security of NATO, the alliance and the member states themselves. And a country at war does definitely not contribute to the security of the alliance and to the member states respectively. <laughs>